Okay, welcome back to Coyote Stencil Shop. Um, we're going to be talking about some of the advanced level um, portions of how to use the software. And uh, a good place to start is with shapes. Uh, we're going to start back again with the picture of these two guys from your instructions manual. Um, what we're going to do though is we're going to go down to shapes. Now when you click on shapes right over here on the, on the tool sets, you will see that you get a choice in tool settings. Line size, whether or not you fill the shape, or, and also the different sizes or different types of shapes. You can put a line in there or a square, or a rounded square, rectangle, rounded rectangle, circle, or ellipse. I'm going to put in a circle. We're going to do our best to make a half moon here. Um, and we're going to make a circle first. Now, mind you, this is going to show when I lift off this mouse right or the, 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 the mouse right here, you're going to see a lot of different new things that are shown up. See these anchor points on this? These things do a lot of, of uh, really crazy looking stuff to these shapes and it allows you to do lots of really kind of fun things to it because yeah you can warp it around there this, um, this allows you to um, change the way a shape looks before you have to uh, commit it to the uh, canvas now I'm going to say that that's a half moon we can grab this anchor right here and change this back up here now you got kind of a half moon shape see how you can still can change it around once you have it where you want it, I'm going to click it and move it over here. Once you have it where you want it, you can then c come over here on the right side to the layers and convert it to raster. I'm not going to convert this one, and in plain fact, I'm going to delete this one right here. We're going to come to the shape, we're going to delete this one, and we're going to come back and say yes. We're going to go back and do the exact same thing over again. This time, we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to make it black. We're going to um, fill it. That means that the whole thing's going to be filled in. We're going to change the line. Well, the line size won't matter at this point since it's filled in. But we're going to make this thing about like this. Now watch what happens. See how it fills in like that? Again, you just grab your your uh, points and put them in here. I'm going to not go so far in on that one. I'm going to grab this and bring it back into here. Grab this one right here. Bring it back into here. Grab this, squoosh it up a little bit. This one back in this way. And then we're going to grab the move. Set it back down about right here. And look, it's a nighttime picture now. I mean, we could do more to this if you wanted, but pretty much it's okay. Then now you have a moon. We're going to come down here and hit convert to raster. And that takes it and turns it part uh, turns it into part of this picture. You can do that with all sorts of the, all different all the different shapes that are in there. You can do it with um, another good one. Another good one right here is the rounded uh, rectangle. Let me show you what you can do with that because there may be a time when you want to do something like this. You make this rectangle any way you want, but see these corners and just grab that corner right there and draw it down. Now you got a um, well, you know what? You now you have the ability to put in text so that it looks like somebody's saying something just by grabbing the corner and drawing it down you can make it look like a sinks text what I'm going to suggest when you do that is you go down here and you you get rid of the uh, fill button that makes sense um, that being said I'm gonna get rid of that one again that's a new shape um, we're gonna delete that layer Then we're going to come up to this shape, and we're going to come down to where it says shape one. We're going to name it the moon. <clears throat> Layer one right here. We're going to change that out to it. Should say stencil. It did in previous sessions. Okay. Now, um, another thing that you can do that's going to be a real fast way to start changing out your pictures, because there may be there may be times when you want to use multiple materials, just instead of two types of wood. You may want to use multiple types of wood. And you don't want to come in here and get your little fill bucket, go to green, and you don't want to get your little fill bucket and come in here and click on each one of these. Oops, sorry, wrong. I was on the moon layer, sorry. Uh, undo, that's what that button's for. You don't want to come in here and get each one of these little spots in this guy's shirt because it'll kill you doing that. So what you do, rather than doing that, is you make a new layer and you call this layer, instead of layer one, you call it shirt fill in this case. And now you're on the shirt fill layer and 
you grab this green and you grab any a pin and you make a big size swath and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do probably do 50 on this thing and and that's so that's gonna make a huge wide um, pin line and see what happens we're going all over the top of this well that doesn't make any sense because you can't see what you're doing right I'm gonna undo we're now gonna grab this shirt fill and we're gonna click on it and hold it and move it up now see it's above the moon it's above the stencil still does the same thing well watch this we're gonna grab stencil and put it to the top okay, I'm on stencil you can get up there and look what happens see what happens there that starts to fill in real nice and so now you come in and you just oh, I'm on the wrong I'm on the wrong layer you come back to shirt fill and you just start moving across this thing and you're filling in real fast now see how fast and you're not missing a spot not fit not missing anything come down here and grab the rest of that shoulder get that right there get this right here you can come right up to the wrist on this guy and fill it in and look how quick that happened versus grabbing the little fill bucket okay now you take the stencil and you say merge down, merge the layer down. So now the stencil will become the shirt fill and then we'll rename it. So you click on it and it now becomes shirt fill. We're going to rename it to stencil. And just to prove the point, when you take stencil and you hide it, both the black and the green will go away. See that? And that's something. So that will help you a lot in uh, filling different areas, getting getting colors filled in. I mean, you can imagine what the fill would look like inside this area right here. Um, and and what you do is you just expand that out from point to point. I mean, we can grab red right here. We can come over. We can make a new layer. We can call that layer um, truck bed. How's that? Truck bed. We're going to take that stencil and we're going to move it up above it. Okay, now we're going to go back to truck bed. We've got the red selected. We're going to go to pin. And look what happens. That's much nicer than having to move around in there with that fill button. You know, you can come back in here and grab portions of it that... Yep, I'm wrong. Went to get out there too far. And you can see what happens. That's what that undo button is for. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Now you got the truck bed, and then you can change the truck to another color. You can make that one. And then what happens is, is we're going to leave that one there. I'm going to come up and make another layer. Another layer. We're going to name this layer truck. And we're going to grab uh, yellow, just because we can. And uh, we're going to go to oh, the truck. We'll go to truck and um, start filling it in see what happens that would take forever and it's just a great way to fill things in and start to add multiple layers and then like we did in the basic level where you go in and assign your uh, you map your colors to your different types of wood you do the same thing here um, but you all of a sudden you end up with a great deal more. I'm going to get that eraser and come across the bottom and clean that up. Look how fast we did that. Those are nice ways for you to fill things in. And, um, and then what you do is you've got your stencil at the top, then truck, and then truck bed. You just grab stencil and you say merged layer down. Merge layer down. Take that one, rename it stencil and uh, click up in here now when you go to stencil and you say hide the layer all the colors go away but when you go over here to do a color to the uh, preview to do a setup materials preview you will see the green and the red now available green red yellow available over here and you can do all sorts of stuff you go to the green and you say I'm gonna make it um, beach and yeah, you know what that's not gonna be a good one because it's gonna look all lot like that African 
all that. Um, go to the red one and pick out uh, butternut. And go to the yellow one and pick out what else? <laughs> Who doesn't have a mulberry truck, huh? Say okay. And then you come in here and you say show materials preview. And look what you get. Get yourself. Well, you know what? I didn't. I didn't map the, the original two. Let's go back up there real quick and uh, get to the background. And we will pick Galanthus. And then we will go to the foreground and we will pick American Black Walnut for this one and this one because we had two different black ones in there. Okay. Now, go back in here, take a look at it, and there you go. Got all sorts of different things going on in there, but it's also a new project that you can do. And again, we're not going to advocate going in there and drilling these little holes all the way down in through here, but that's all up to you. You get to pick the detail. You get to pick the job. It's yours to do. There are a lot of other things that we didn't really, didn't really get into here. Um, they're just little tricks and trades, and you'll learn them as you go along when you use Coyote. If you've got questions, give us a call. We're always available, and we're available through the website too. And uh, thanks for being our customers.